Hi, so how many of us like to online shop? Show of hands. So how many of you have had to, you received the clothing, it didn't fit you, you had to go back to the store, you had to make an online return? Yeah, I see some hands up. Okay, well, that's where we came up with the solution, an app called iFitU. So essentially, think of it as a mall on your phone. You're able to scan yourself from different angles. It creates an avatar that looks like you. We'll be in partnership with retail companies. The listings will be placed on the app, and you're able to click on like a listing, basically, and just it will show up on the avatar. So you get to see what it looks like on you before you order it. And every user will have a profile, so on that profile you can save looks and um, other users that with similar like looks and similar measurements will show up on your feed so you can connect with users with similar styles and similar measurements. Um, yeah. Also, uh, whenever you buy in different shops, sometimes you get medium, like, Whenever you buy in Sarah, for example, it's not the same medium than in, let's say, what, another brand. Like H&M. H&M. So what we plan to do is that the AI would get the information from different, uh, from the clothes from different brands, and then it would, um, it would like recommend you the, the clothes, that, like the size that you need from every brand, you know? Also, um, we wanna be all inclusive. So everybody can be a model, everybody can create their own profile, and they, everybody can share it with other people, so it will be public. So like when you go on H&M website, you're seeing what these clothes look like on models, but those models don't look like you. You wanna see what it looks like on yourself before you order it. So that's a problem that we're trying to fix. And also through the app, you can have like shirt from H&M, pants from Zara, all in one transaction. So you don't have to go to multiple websites and make different transactions. You can just make one big transaction with the different clothings. We'll send it to the retail stores and the retail stores will ship it out to you. So this is a design that we came up with. So here it shows where you can like click on the clothing and it will be placed on the body model that looks like you. This is your profile where you can have your saved looks. You can follow people, have followers, and essentially that will, will look like the transaction. Like um, it can be from different stores. So the vision. The vision at iFit U is to become the global leader in virtual try-on and styling technology, setting the standard for personalized fashion discovery by continuously innovating and collaborating with re-owned brands. We aspire to redefine the fashion industry, making it more inclusive and accessible to all. Yeah. And the mission is to empower our customers to discover their unique style and express themselves confidently. Okay. We target women from ages 13 and 30. Um, that's up online the most. Marketing, uh, we would market ourselves by partnerships and collaborations with influencers. Uh, the influencers will create their own profiles and other people from, like their followers can go to their profile and buy from, from what they choose. Like for example, the influencer can post on their Instagram story, hey, go check out this new style that I posted. And if someone goes on their profile, purchases one of the listings that's placed on the avatar, then the influencer will earn commission. And there will also be um, search engine optimization, ads, app store fees, social media, public relations, and press coverage. And then for cost, so as of right now, what we know is we're gonna have to pay for a 3D avatar platform, chat GPT, developers, designers, licensed development tools, and legal fees. And then for revenue, subscription fees, listing fees, partnerships, and transaction fees. The next steps will be to implement the 3D avatar creation so the, the user can create their own avatar. Uh, and yeah, and this will be kind of like the example. So there's already a 3D platform that exists. So we basically want to take, okay, so it's a platform that exists where essentially it is you scan yourself, it creates this avatar that looks like you. So we just need to integrate that platform into another coding for the UI design, but we didn't have enough time to do that, so we just came up with a small prototype, and we'll show you that right now. Okay, so for the prototype, um, you start right here, terms and conditions. 
Uh, you click continue, you can create your profile. You can list all your fashion preferences by brand. All of that will be the retail companies that we're in partnership with, so you can put in like your preferences as to most, the most favorite ones, so we'll only show you those options. You can input your measurements and sizing, which will help the algorithm determine on uh, what size fits you best, and then you can create a body model. This is the prototype of the 3D body model. All right, we're going to hand it over to the judges for questions. What's, what are you using for the model rendering? What is the backend uh, software for that? So we haven't um, chosen an actual model to do that. We're looking at different um, CVs out there to be able to implement that functionality. I think on the discussion, we drilled it down to something more um, simple for a prototype or even for initial release, which would be taking, if it's just text, um, text prompt or even doing video um, voice to text and then taking real-time data that we get from actual vendors, um, fashion data, um, even um, actions from actual users, and then feeding that to the model so that you know we have some type of uh, retraining as we go. And those models that we were looking to use initially was ChatGPT as just you know quick API that we could implement, but uh, we see better use cases with using smaller models out there, like more open source models, and thinking how we can, um, you know, how they'll operate when it comes to cost as far as scale. So. so another question would be on the same lines. How would you make sure the clothing of these brands would fit on these models? Do you have the, how would you get the sizes and the exact measurements of the clothing? That is the magic question. Um, haven't got to that point yet. Um, the, the concept is a person be able to create an avatar of themselves, so using, using a device. Um, technologies like LiDAR would give us, you know, those have our capabilities to do that. And then with those measurements that we get, we'd use that to decide what items would really fit this model. Um, another problem is you have some companies, a large at one company is different from a large at another company. That's another thing that we would have to account for to make sure that regardless of where the, the clothing is actually coming from, it would actually fit the person well. Thank you. Uh, just one more. Uh, actually, that is uh, how the uh, scanning platform that you're planning to integrate with, how, yeah, can it actually get reliable dimensions of uh, the body that you're scanning? Uh, what, what's it, what are its limits right now? Yeah, and also it can get your features so whenever you are trying some clothes virtually, you can see if it, if it fits well with your face, with your hair style, with everything. OK, so I guess the real challenge actually in that case would be getting the clothing dimensions from the manufacturers. Would that be correct? Yes. OK. Yes, like getting the listing off of the website and having that listing be able to resize onto the body that platform that I mentioned, mm -hmm. it already does that with garments for like gaming. Oh, okay. So it is possible, we just have to figure out how to do it with listings that are placed on the retail's websites. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. And it probably means that somebody's gonna have to write a, somebody, someone should write a scraper to find that and monitor those sites because yeah a lot of a, a lot of clothing manufacturers do publish the uh yeah sizing uh, sizing dimension somewhere assuming they're accurate yeah that uh, a scraper might help solve that problem okay all set okay thank you so much that was i fit you